This is G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra Steel Crusher APV with Nitro Viper. Now this vehicle set comes as part of Wave 1 of the Bravo class vehicles of the uh, movie line. Okay, uh, let's begin. The figure that it comes with, the Nitro Viper, is perhaps one of the most boring Vipers I've ever seen. He's made of all blue plastic. Uh, he's got a vest. Uh, regular art articulation. He's got a non-removable helmet with a swivel visor. That's it. I'm not exactly sure where Hasbro cannibalized the pieces for this figure, but uh, it's still as boring as can be. This is as good as it gets. But it doesn't really matter because he comes with such an awesome, awesome vehicle. Fits right into the cockpit or the driver's seat and he can grip uh, steering wheel with both hands it doesn't come with any guns or anything just the vest okay this vehicle pretty awesome vehicle I'm kinda surprised I didn't pick it up sooner but I'm glad I waited because it went on clearance at 50 off here in Manila and I picked him up very nice uh, it comes in all glossy black plastic uh, very nice, very shiny. He's got cobra emblems everywhere, screaming cobra. Uh, it's easy to spot this guy, spot this vehicle. Uh, it's got detailing everywhere. He even has the Hummer logo on the bumper. And more Hummer insignias right here on the grill. On the, uh, yeah, on the grill. Uh, he's got all kinds of detail on him the grill, the headlamps rubber tires, uh, detailed rims, uh, windows on the back part of the car is just molded in. Uh, this is the only transparent plastic uh, on the windshield. Everything else is open, even has an open sunroof. Okay, that's about it. It rolls very well and really just the amount of plastic you get for this set is really worth the money you pay. Okay, let's go to the features. He comes with the battering ram or the battle bumper which you can attach uh, nothing to it and really the main feature of this vehicle is the the top part of the vehicle which which has the, the battle weapons but before I show that I'll show you some of the other weapons he has missiles on the side of the doors which you can mount in reverse as with in the movie but you can't close it he has missiles here as well downside is these two doors are fixed and you can only fit two people inside the car and maybe a couple more on the pegs here and here but that's it it's a shame we can't fit storm shadow inside or what again let's go to the main feature uh, you slide this part and cover the front part of the car and you pop out the gun lock it in and then you can fold down the uh, visor the armor visor for the windshield uh, there's still a hole here which you can put the figure in. Uh, the the cannon just sw uh, swivels 360, doesn't move up or down. It comes with uh, three sets of missiles, which you can store here, and actually fires quite a bit. So very nice. It's a very nice touch. Uh, I like it even without the missile. Okay, and if you have the other figures. Uh, of the Rise of Cobra line that were uh, part of the uh, famous Paris Pursuit scene like the Paris Pursuit Baroness maybe the Delta 6 Accelerator Suit um, Ripcord and the Accelerator Suit Duke you can recreate that Paris Pursuit scene with the Steel Crusher so there you have it uh, a very nice vehicle set Highly recommend it. If you can still find it in stores, it's probably out on clearance. Um, I hope this video has been very helpful to a lot of you who are still deciding on whether to get this figure or not. I think it's a worthy purchase, and if you can still find it, I, I highly recommend you purchase it. So there you have it the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra Steel Crusher APV. Thanks for watching.